again, Russell from Go Shooting. Today's topic is a question that I get asked very frequently from new shooters. It's how high do you need to keep your trigger elbow when you're gripping the gun? I'll try and answer this today from a right-hander's point of view, but I'll warn you there is no definitive answer. If you're shooting in an event like Trap where the gun will be pre-mounted to your shoulder, and you'll have the opportunity then to have your right elbow in a number of different positions. But which one's correct? Many people that adopt the American technique of shotgunning, you'll see hold their right elbow at 90 degrees or parallel to the ground. Now the school of thought here is that it will keep your head firmly planted on the stock while it will aid you to swing your body in its entirety smoothly to the target. Here's an example of a 90 degree held elbow. This is Leo Harrison, the world's greatest ever down the line or ATA shooter. I think one of the biggest downfalls with this technique is that if you can't naturally keep your elbow up at 90 degrees, then fatigue will set in and that will cause you some problems. Now, if you cross the world and look at some of the great Italian Olympic trap shooters, you'll notice their elbows in quite a different position. You'll see many of their great champions have their elbows probably no more than at 45 degrees. They will argue that this relaxed position will keep your body looser and smoother under pressure. As long as your gun fits you correctly, the recall of the first shot won't upset where your body and your head lies on the stock for a quick spontaneous second shot. This is Italy's Giovanni Pelliello, the world's most prolific winner in Olympic trap with a 45 degree right elbow. Now, if your shotgun can't be pre-mounted to your shoulder and you're shooting in a discipline that requires a quick and speedy mount, then you will need to mount the gun with your elbow going into its natural position. But even this can vary. So let's quickly have a look at three more of the world's most elite shotgun shooters and let's see what they do. Here's the world's greatest ever shotgunner in George Digweed with his elbow at around 60 degrees. Next, we have Kimberly Rhodes, six-time Olympic medalist with her elbow a little higher, perhaps at 75 degrees. And finally, Vincent Hancock, the world's number one men's international ski chair at the moment with his elbow at about 45 degrees. So what's correct, up, down, or natural? Well, it's really up to you. You need to try all of these techniques under pressure. Personally, I prefer to just leave your elbow in its natural position. I find that if you have to mechanically put your elbow or any part of your gun mount into some unnatural position, then under pressure, you are inviting danger. Above all else, get your gun fitted correctly so where you put your elbow under pressure won't be so critical. As always, we hope you enjoyed this little video and we look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range again really soon.